Isn't this just the coolest looking label? I, every time I look at this label, I'm like, it looks fancy and stuff. You know, it's got all the good stuff on it. It's got huge scores on there. It's got made with organic grapes on there. It's got the, the great old winery. It's got just the whole shoot and match. And on the back, it's like, like triple, quadruple organic certified. Like there's a lot of green stuff on here. And you know, usually when we see a lot of references to, to green or we see ladybugs on labels or some kind of crap like that, we, we think, oh my gosh, how good's the wine gonna be, right? Because what happens is organic in the early days, organic was very gimmicky, right? Uh, organic, if you saw organic on something, you know, 15 years ago, it was like, all right, wine probably sucks, but hey, it's organic, right? Now, especially in Europe, organic is just a regular part of the culture there. So it's like, just like putting anything else, like putting the grape right in a label. It's like putting, so, and it's something that's, that's very widely acknowledged in Europe. And, and organic wines, I don't know if you know this, but in Europe, organic wines are a big deal. It's huge. Organic anything. Um, they're really concerned about the environment. They're really concerned about everything. So when you put organic on there, it's triple certified. It's, um, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's just like walking, eating, breathing. You know, here we still think it's a big deal. You know, a little section of the supermarket with organic and most of the vegetables suck is because they're old and they're a little pricier so no one will buy them because, so yeah, the your organic carrots kind of blow because they've been there like an extra 10 days. And anyway, moving on. I digress. The Tori Zambra, I'm, I'll make the point later, trust me. The Tori Zambra Multifunzione d'Abruzzo Maria 2021 pushes all the buttons. Uh, I think we talked about Tori Zambra in the past with their Villa Magna wine, which was, if you remember correctly, the, their 100% Multifunzione wine from one of the smallest DOCs in Italy, 65 hectares or something like that. And these guys own a nice chunk of Villa Magna, the, the Cerchio family being very astute with their land purchases and starting the property in the early 1960s. Now, uh, they do make a bunch of multiple channel d'Abruzzo wines. And uh, this one is from their youngest vines. So it's young by multiple channel d'Abruzzo, but from these great vineyards in and around Villa Magna at the perfect altitude, great soils. And young doesn't mean like two-year-old vines, like here in California. I I'm kidding. I'm, in California, it's three-year-old vines. But, you know, it, it does mean like 10, 12-year-old vines, right? But it's multiple channel. And when it's done right, you still get that beautiful color, that richness, that roundness. This is a wine, these guys don't pretend. They say, this is a wine just to be shared, man. This is a weeknight party on, crack a bottle, eat some pizza, whatever the hell type of wine. Expertly done. A, the vineyards are all organic, says Frank Chaw, and they use all native yeast for their fermentations, right? So they don't use cultured yeast. This isn't like a, a tank farm. This is not the enzymes and this and that and sneaky. These guys actually, organic vit viticulture, native yeast fermentations, aging in concrete and stainless steel. That is the regimen, by the way, of a lot of wineries that charge 100 bucks a bottle, 150 bucks a bottle, mostly because they do it that way. You know what I'm saying? These guys just, it's always been par for the course for these cats. Mm. Mm. And the wine's beautiful. Cherries, good multiple channel de Bruzzo, not made in an overly reductive style. Wink, wink, you know who you are out there. Um, just cherry juice, wonderful red fading to black cherry juice, uh, and always a nice little firm tannic backbone. There's always a nice little spine to this wine, which when you had your olive oil, when you got your, your tomatoes and olive oil with your bread and you're dipping and nom, nom, nom and garlic and salt and blah, that spine creates this freshness, this vivacity that makes you want another sip. Keeps you going back to the bottle. It's fun, this is delightful. You know, it's, it's, it feels, part of it feels lighter handed, but it's not. This has weight and gravitas. This is Multipulciano. That being said, I wouldn't mind almost not a slight chill. I'm not gonna call this a chillable red because that's like wanky. But I will say, if you did stick it in the fridge for 10 to 15 minutes before you served it, like serve it true cellar temperature, I think it'll really um, highlight the, um, the the energy and the mojo of this wine. Mm. 
and you know it's got fruit, you know it's got deliciousness, because Luca Maroney gave it 97 points. Our good buddy Luca Maroney, back in the house again. <laughs> Which I said before, I'm gonna re-emphasize this. Dude knows what yummy wine tastes like, right? Three of the biggest Italian sellers we've ever had, with multiple rebuys here at the store, have been those 99 point Luca Maroni $15 jobbers. They just fly out the door. People love the wines. You're gonna love this too. But if you think that's kind of sketchy, well then, uh, Suckling gave it 92 points. Oh wait, no, you think he's sketchy too. Okay, so that's not good enough. How about 91 points from Wine Spectator? <laughs> no, that shiznit ain't sketchy. That is legit. Tasted blind, stingy scores. For a wine like this to get that kind of score at this kind of price is amazing. Oh wait, Kyle, tell us the price. Tell us the price. 12 bucks. 12 bucks a bottle for this wine, which, you know, funny, Wine Spectator posted a retail price of 34 bucks on their website. So either someone's horrifically gouging or they got the information wrong. I'm not quite sure which, but if you think it's $34 wine, all the better, baby. Spectator said it was 34 bucks. We're selling it for 12. And uh, again, one of the greatest uh, red wine values under 20 bucks from Italy we have in the store. What a charmer. And yes, it's organic, so it will not kill you. You will not die from drinking this. So I'm feeling better actually while drinking. It's making me healthier.